let's take a look at adding a hyperlink. So I'm on page one and you can see here in the pages panel, that's page one. I'm going to pick up my zoom tool and zoom in to the symbol, the lower right hand side. So this will be ultimately a link to NASA's image of the day. Go back and just off the side of here, we have some text that I've already added in here. So I'll double left click on that, swipe across to select all that, choose copy, hit the escape key, click away from there and go back and click on that piece of artwork. I'll then go down to the bottom of the hyperlinks panel and click on create new hyperlink. Now by default, it usually does pick URL. So we've got URL linked to a file, email, page, text anchor, shared destination. So URL is fine in our case, swipe over the current name, Command V to, or Control V to paste that into there. Now, shared hyperlink means that you could use this same hyperlink in multiple places in the document. At the moment, I don't need that. So I'm just going to leave that turned off at the moment. And then down here under character style, well, that's only relevant if you're going to apply that to any text. And we will have in here PDF appearance. Well, we're not going to export this as a PDF. Um, in theory, this will create highlight boxes and things that's very 1990s. We don't need that. So essentially it's a URL, what the URL address is, and then click OK. You'll notice in here that it gives us this thing called compound path, which is the name of the shape that's uh, in this document here. Um, if I just show you very quickly, that's it. It's called compound path, it's just multiple paths joined together and it calls it a compound path. Um, you can uh, go to the, with it highlighted, you can go to the panel flight menu and choose rename hyperlink. And if I call this image of the day, click OK. And now I know exactly what it relates to. And it tells me that it's on page one of this document. And by clicking on that number there that's highlighted in blue, it would take me to that graphic and put it in the middle of the screen. If I hover over the status indicator, I can click on that and it will show me that the web page actually does work. So that's how you can create an image-based hyperlink to a web page from InDesign.